I am not making this video to raise awareness on this one specific genetic disorder that is potentially fatal when you mix it with hormone uh, replacement therapy. That is not why I'm making this video. Please understand that. I am making this video because there are so many potential fatal genetic issues when you mix them with all sorts of different types of medications, but specifically sex hormones of any type, but specifically the opposite sex hormones. Who knows what might happen? There's very little uh, medical information on this. So I will have many studies linked in the description. Not that I need to. What I'm going to be talking about is not controversial. Um, but I thought I would um, just so that people have something to read if they want. But, you know, you could look it up on your own. I didn't cherry pick these. Um, I literally typed it into Google chose the ones that were actual medical articles and medical studies, just went down the list, down the list. Um, so zero cherry picking whatsoever, literally just went down the list. I didn't, I didn't even exclude any. So whatever they say, they say. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. Some of them are case studies, so you can see individuals who are hurt by this. And then some of them just talk about the mechanisms, and then others talk about more uh, observational sort of studies that have been done on... Um, sort of groups. As, as for me, um, I'm not doing well mentally or physically. I am very, very sick, but in both ways. Um, and I do not think it will ever get better. Yeah. It's how my life has been. It's been getting worse lately. Well, it's been getting better in some ways, and then it's been getting worse in other ways. And there is no improvement for me. I am, I, I'm certain of that. Um, and I don't want people to say, oh, have hope and stuff like this. I really don't want you to worry or I just, the point I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because I, I might not upload very much or very, my content might not ever get any better than this or it may not be very good. Um, I'm doing what I can, you know. I can't put as much effort into these as I, as I would like to. Anyway, on to the sort of topic at hand. Um, so I have a genetic condition called Factor V Leiden, protein C. Um, and this is a blood clotting condition, also known as thrombophilia, and it will cause your blood to clot more often. It almost killed me when I was 18, and then I had, a, I had to have a heart operation in college. It hasn't impacted me since then very much. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, This video is talking about this genetic issue, and DIY hormones. So the issue is if you take DIY hormones, and sometimes even if you go to doctors or if you use the things like Plume, they're probably not going to do genetic testing on you. And so they're not going to know what genetic issues you might have. And this is one that I have. There are people who have died from these issues. There are people who will die from these issues. There are people who are currently dying from these issues. Um, make no mistake, just because you're not reading about them, well, I am reading about some of them. They're in hospitals, there's case studies of them that are coming out. I have, you know, subscribed to medical studies, so I read medical studies every now and then on trans issues. And I see them all the time. Case study here, case study there, hospitalized for this, blood clot there, um, autoimmune condition gets worse, you know, blah, 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 on and on and on and on. And nobody talks about it because they're individuals. Um, but when you take all the individuals together, it's not a small amount of people. And in general, I'm just sick of this horrible, horrible mistake we've made in society. This is a really horrible mistake. Um, but the point is, DIY hormones or hormones that are given out like over the phone and stuff... These could kill people. If I had done DIY hormone therapy, if I had done plume before my transient ischemic attack, I very likely could have just died. Very likely I would have just died from a stroke or a pulmonary embolism. I would have died before I was 19. That would have been eight years ago. I hope we're able to stop this horrible cult before it kills more people 
like me or like my friend who killed himself because his health conditions were beyond anything most of us can even imagine. It's going to kill people, young people, all types of people. It needs to stop.